Hey everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of RoboCop Rogue City. This is going to launch on the 27th of November. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. I am hopefully doing well because I'm recording this a bit ahead of time. Having a lot of fun with RoboCop anytime I record it, I am going to play it. Like any time I play it, I'm going to record it. But if you are enjoying this, please sit back, relax, grab your favorite headphones, grab your favorite snack, grab your favorite beverage, throw those headphones in, and let's get into the action, shall we? We are picking up right after we came back to the precinct. I'm going to take this PCB. I already saw it was on it. It's not as good as the one we have. Unfortunately, I uh, had some issues with some footage during my last recording. This is a 3.2. This is a 3.3. Going to move my controller so that doesn't happen again. And we're going to just investigate around here again. Hope you're all doing well. gonna be around so we always want to check it's just a thing I do because it builds more into the lore we get to discover stuff about the game because this even though it is somewhat are the facts from baby made we were extremely flattered after hearing that Robocop's main source of something is our delicious baby food this is why we wanted to present you with an opportunity for a collaboration we would like to make Robocop the face of Baby Maid. Who wouldn't want their child to grow up to be a real life superhero? In exchange, we'd offer you a free supply of Baby Maid. As much as you ever need. Please contact us, Veronica Guerrera, Baby Maid Sales and Marketing. I know we went over that in the last episode, but had to restart from a checkpoint when uh, my controller decided to swap out views on us because it fell on my foot and switched things. You all know the procedure by now. Officer Cecil will gather Briggs' belongings and deliver them to the family. They asked for a small funeral, so I expect everyone to give the family space. Briggs was one of us. We should at least do something to honor him. Best thing we can do is get those butchers that did this to him. I want to see everyone in the briefing room in ten minutes. Now back to work. Hey, Murphy. You've been to the hospital, haven't you? How's Lewis? Unconscious, but stable. <sighs> She'll pull through. I'm sure of it. It's time to hold OCP accountable. This can't keep happening. Relax, Kaplan. He's not wrong. How many more of us have to end up in the hospital or a morgue before we do something? It's like Sarge said, we need to get the guy who did it, so maybe let's focus on that? I agree. Speaking of which, there's someone who might know something. There's a guy in the jail that wants to talk to you, Robo. Okay. See you let's later in the briefing room. Go to the jail. Jail is downstairs. No, downstairs. Welcome back, Robo. You have a minute? First of all, I wanted to say I'm sorry that I hesitated back at that steel mill. I already filed a report on the incident to Mr. Becker. Fucking right. 
As I was writing it, I'd noticed a lot of opportunities to better myself. But considering that was our first mission together, it wasn't all bad, right? I'll go easy on the kid. You helped Because he did get reinforcements. <sighs> Still a long way to go. I've been getting to know different aspects of being a cop, and there's one thing that I keep underperforming at. It's shooting. Would you mind showing me how you practice at the range? Yes, practice makes perfect. Let us not waste any more time. You want to go now? <laughs> yeah, great. Let's go. And before I love the smell of this stuff, I got start? a 110. First, I want to watch you practice. Can Can I come in now? I took so many notes. Next yeah, time, get... do it quietly. I'm gonna Eliminate clip distractions. what I did before. Being overeager is one of them. Ah, so that's the actual lesson. Now I get it. Is your service weapon properly prepared? I was issued this old gun and serviced it according to the manual. I will try it out. Sure thing. There you go. Is everything okay? Your service weapon is broken. I calibrated it. I did everything the manual said. It is beyond repair. They must have issued it to you by mistake. Huh. I don't think that's entirely true. Other cops give me a hard time because Mr. Becker hired me to monitor you. But I guess that's the way it has to be. No sulking in uniform. You are a cop. And a cop gets things done. Okay, I'll get another service weapon. Thank you, Robo. Uh, I chose another option. I should have chose that one again. I wasn't paying attention. Ah, there's my favorite law enforcement officer. Pickle! He's the one Why who are you led us. This? I come here to think sometimes, and the food is better than in the soup kitchen. That is resourceful. Why, thank you. I try very hard to not try at all. But seriously, I was hoping to see you. I heard what happened to Briggs. After everything he did for me, I'll do whatever I can to help you catch that Wendell guy. He seems pretty good at pitting people against each other. Maybe I'll find some of his dissatisfied customers who'd be willing to talk to me. It could be dangerous. You kidding? On the streets, I'm a samurai. Well, with Briggs dead, it probably makes me more of a... You are not a ronin. Yeah, okay. Just remember, if you need anything, I'm your guy. He's... a thief? A dealer. I can't tell if he has any honor, though. Not again. Why am I always the one that has to do it? It's not fair. What's what going is on? it, officer? Huh? Uh, oh, I, 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 I didn't realize I was talking out loud. It's. Just that I need to hang Briggs' picture on the memorial wall. It's just... a lot. Hey, would you be so kind and help me? All you have to do is find Briggs' photo in the database and print it out. Just make sure to hang it straight. <laughs> Otherwise, I won't hear the end of it from Sarge. I'd be happy to have hang Briggs' photo. I feel bad about not being able to save Briggs in a way. Uh, let's see if it's gonna... Yeah, it's gonna do that again.
for some reason, my up and down do not work right now. But my WSAD does, which is good. Now let's go hang Briggs's photo. suffers another humiliation during his mayoral campaign. The hats that he gave away to the homeless citizens of Detroit seem to have another application. They turn into balaclavas that are now commonly used to protect the identity of liquor store robbers. As a result, we've seen an unprecedented spike in crime. They are deliberately making me look like a fool! Hmm. Well, maybe don't give out balaclavas. Thanks, Murphy. I still need to go get his stuff, so you know I'm gonna take care of the desk. But could you get his belongings from his locker? Now I love a good battle clock, but I prefer a cowl myself. Wraps around the head, wraps around the neck. They can be knit and waterproof and comfy, like Gemma made for me for when I have to go out and get firewood and shovel snow. Everything in the box. I'll make sure his family gets it. You know, I usually do all of this alone, and it doesn't get any easier no matter how many times I do it. But having you share this responsibility with me, it actually helped. Thank you, Murphy. Okay. I don't, I don't know if my controller is screwing up or what. It might be honestly. I gotta clean it out again. But let's get to the Briefing room. I didn't see any other objectives out here. Oh, I'll talk to your reporter. Michael Briggs, age 42, sex male. Physical examination, severe dehydration, and exhaustion. Broken rib cage, superficial stab wounds, and bruising suggests prior torture. Projectile wounds with damage to the internal organs. Cause of death, multiple shots to the chest from point-blank range with a handgun, caliber and 9mm rounds. No match with any weapons confiscated at the scene. Manner of death, homicide. Well, I'm glad I went in there, because that might help us on this case. So when it asks when I leave the area, I feel like there's more I could be doing here. So let me just walk around and check.
right. I think I looked. I, lo I think I legit looked everywhere. I'm not Thanks doing to Robocop's like insubordination, here. we finally have something concrete. At your service. Wendell Antonowski struck a deal with the street vultures at Highland Park. A place where, for some reason, we weren't supposed to go. Be that as it may, we're on the lookout for anyone from this biker gang. We also know what he's looking for. Yeah, dead bodies. Dead bodies whose brains are still intact, to be precise. Wow. That's even more messed up. Why would he need him? We'll get to the whys, but for now we need to focus on catching Spike. He's our connection to Wendell Antonowski. Since they know we're onto them, I'm expecting them to be in hiding. I am... They're not hiding. Put on Channel 9. What in the hell? I repeat, OCP Bank is being robbed by the notorious street vultures. We'll keep trying to get closer for a better view. All right, everyone back up. I want you all to be at SWAT's disposal. Sergeant, am I back on the case? I don't think Becker will give me grief if I let you go save OCP's money. You're reinstated. Everyone, move out! Oh, look at that. One of the cops was actually bothered to show up. No need, SWAT's got it covered. What is the situation? Vultures came up with the great idea of robbing the OCP bank. They've got hostages, and they claim there's a bomb. They must be crazy to think that OCP will just let them leave with their money. Was there any sighting of Spike? Not yet. But I'm sure they wouldn't pull such a stunt without their leader. What is the plan? Let me make this clear. It's SWAT's plan. You're no part of it. Then you are going to need a new plan. This buggy brain of yours, you think you still remember how to put the heat on them scumbags? I prefer to serve justice cold. <laughs> All right, we are trying to save OCP.
There are more of them! Sixteen of eighteen. We were close. Don't tell me if they got more of the Ed two or nine. We put down your weapon. Fire! Yeah, when you have 40 guys... It's easy. No, their kills are average nice. Our line of work is about the team, not the tech. Fire at him. And I agree, it is about the team. Without my team, I would not be here today. Cannot do it alone. There's no such thing as a one man army.
Nice. Thank you for the recharge. Now, if OCP would have sent their non-cop SWAT team in ahead of time, this wouldn't have been a problem. But no, we're going to make a deal with... A group of terrorists. Robocop, I received information that the bank manager is held hostage in the vault. Where exactly is it? Find the manager's office, and we'll go from there. It's at the far end of the office area. Your presence here is unauthorized. So is depriving thousands of people of a roof over their heads. But OCP doesn't seem to mind that. Explain. Delta City. A heaven on earth that OCP plans to build in place of old Detroit. A city of the future hmm. where there is no crime or poverty. Do you believe the commercials? I am working on the no crime part. Then OCP may become the object of your attention soon. Hmm. In order to create Delta City, OCP must first get rid of people who live in old Detroit. Now that's a topic I'd rather do a story on than you glitching. OCP offered these people investment in the project. The value of their property would cover the cost of entering the business. The later gains will far outweigh the cost, supposedly. You do not believe that. It's OCP. There must be a catch, and I think I found it. The documents say something about additional hmm. costs. I believe that's a loophole that OCP placed in order to scam people out of their homes. That is only suspicion. And I need time to prove that my suspicion is true. Time and some of these documents I found. If you detain me, the SWAT jerks will requisition them. You can go, but if you continue to disobey the law, I cannot detain her for doing what she... More like a police officer than OCP's property. Anyway, the city owes you. And I owe you too. I can see you've reached the manager's office. Great. Now look for a switch that unlocks the doors that lead to the vault. If I was a bank manager, I would probably ask for that switch to be installed somewhere around my desk. I'm gonna look around first. Just to be safe. Now, take the doors behind the desk and turn left. The way to the vault should be open now. Let's check our skills. Deduction. Let's do shockwave armor and that. We'll go engineering. I will not contribute to depriving my grateful employer of his hard earned savings. We're opening this vault with or without your help, you open that shop. Uh, what is this intricate device? Check it!
Oh, hey, I got him all this time. Oh, I knew our founder would send his best. <sighs> We're not done yet. Mr. Becker, you're, you're still alive. I only played dead, so I didn't end up like you, with a bomb strapped to my body. Robocop, you have to defuse it. The explosion could cause the company enormous losses. I think I have engineering four. An opportunity for an ambitious officer. I'll be watching you from a safe distance. Officer Washington, I am looking at a ticking bomb. A, a bomb? Okay, uh, I'm passing you through to the bomb squad. There is no time. I will need your help to defuse it. Gosh, I mean, I, I'll do my best, but, but just give me a moment. I should have engineering. Are you looking for a bomb defusing chapter in the police manual? Found it. First rule, call qualified personnel. Oh no. Okay. Tell me what you see. I'm XEOD. Four cables, green, two reds, and blue. Four cables? Got it. Four connectors with different voltage. What's the highest voltage? 24 volts. It is a C4 explosive and seems to be homemade. Where is the debt yeah, trigger? The the Cables lead to the fuse. Does the fuse appear to be electronic? Affirmative. Okay, so they used this kind of bomb before. According to the diagram, you should detach three cables. Start from the one with the highest voltage, then proceed down one at a time to the one with the lowest voltage. There are two different color 12 volt cables. Which one do I detach first? Uh, maybe this isn't the time, but I'm colorblind. The ground. Based on my engineering database, I have determined that the order of detaching the 12 volt cables is irrelevant. So you knew all along? I thought you may learn something here. Okay, then start with the 24 volt connector, then proceed to detach the 12 volt cables. Okay, 24 volts, six. That's the 12. Ah! No, it wasn't. Ah! I'm gonna reload that. I misread the lining of the cables. So we're gonna do that again, folks. This episode, it might be a little bit long. But I am disappointed in myself. For not saying that. I thought it went up and around. It did not. Okay. Robocop, I need we're not Mr. Beck. We can skip through all this. Found it. Okay. Four connectors with different voltage. What's the highest voltage? Twenty four twelve. Oh, twelve went down there. Okay. Four cables, green, two reds, and blue. Four cables? Got it. Cables lead to the fuse. Does the fuse appear to be electronic? Affirmative. It is a C4 explosive and seems to be homemade. Yeah, that's what I'd expect. Okay. So they use this kind of bomb according to the... There are two different colors. Uh, 
I will have to improvise. Just remember, detach the one with the. Ah, uh, not improvise. Okay. Green first. Twelve is here. Uh. What? Okay, it must have been the other 12 volt, the blue. We'll get it this time, folks. I will not contribute to the... Mr. Becker, I only play Robocop. You have to defuse. I need the support of a combat engineer. I saw that Orpheus kid playing puzzle games. I'll be one. Officer Wash, I am looking at a, a bomb. Oh. There is no time. I will. Gosh, I mean, I, I'll do my first aid. Are you looking? Found it. Okay. All right. Four connectors with different voltage. What's the highest voltage? 24 volts. It is a C4 explosive and seems to be homemade. Yeah, that's what I'd expect from the street vultures. Cables lead to the fuse. Does the fuse appear to be electronic? Affirmative. Four cables, green, two reds, and blue. Four cables? Okay. So they used this kind of bomb before. According to the diagram, you should detach three cables. Start from the one with the highest voltage, then proceed down one at a time to the one with the lowest voltage. There are two different color 12 volt cables. Which one do I detach first? Uh, okay, maybe this isn't the time, but I'm colorblind. I will have to improvise. <clears throat> Just remember, detach the one with the highest voltage first, then proceed down to the lowest voltage. Okay. Highest voltage is green. Then blue. Finally. Do not step on it. It was just okay. a minor incident. Ready to get back to business? Cause I need to make a withdrawal. Like now. Well, I should really check upstairs. Nonsense. This is OCP. Money comes first. Now, open the vault. Th there you go, sir. Great. Now out of my way. What the hell is this? Where is all the money? Our founder has most of our capital tied up in a very ambitious and resource heavy project. <coughs> Believe old man's blowing all of OCP's money on Delta City. Have some respect, young man. Arnold, back with the money in the next. We'll leave it. You should be proud to work for such a great man. At this rate, soon there might be no one left to work for him. See what I'm talking about? And that is where we're going to end this episode, folks. As an XAOD guy, I didn't like that too much because that's not how our bombs are. But, you know, it's a game. If you did enjoy this, please like, comment, subscribe down below. Share with your friends on social media. Let me do it over here. We're working on 200 subs by the end of the year for a giveaway. 
I'd like to thank everybody for watching. I've been your host, Kellen Hale. Please make sure to hydrate. Medicate if you have to. Eat some good food. Be kind to yourselves and be kind to each other. And as always, don't let your dreams just be dreams. Make your dreams a reality. I'll see you on the next episode of RoboCop Rogue City. Until then, this is Callan Hale, signing off.